Today is the day that we show you how we installed our new Blue Technology R3 water filtration system. If you missed our filtration video where we talked about the system, Stacy will link that. Today I'm going to be removing the old water softener, taking it out. Our new water softener is going to go here. I really wanted to install the three filter system inside the wet bay, but I just did not have the room over there to do that. So the next best option was to come here in my storage bay and put it on this wall. Taking off the light and removing the vacuum should be fairly easy. There's four, four screws holding this in, one on the hose clamp, and then the uh, vacuum has a couple holes or screws holding it in. And I'll just turn everything to gain all this extra space. Now I will reconfigure or reattach this somewhere else inside the storage bay, but for now, I'll just pull it out of my way over here um, and I'll probably I'll probably mount it on that side over there right so let's see if I can do this vacuum is up out of the way it created a lot of space for the filtration system to go underneath and I did google the intervac design to see if it could be hung uh, horizontally and it said it could uh, the proof will be in the pudding when Stacy goes to use the vacuum for the first time something I want to try to keep the water if there ever if this thing ever springs a leak down here in the storage bay from leaking out and hitting my inverter or my so solar charge controller is my thought was to put this bin lid, attach it to the wall so it stays, and then take the, the clear bin, put the filter in it, put it over like so, and then I can close it to the lid. Now the filter will be hung so there'll be no pressure on this. And if it ever were to spring a leak, the water would hit this and fall down. But I think I can do this. see how this is going to work. All right, I've got the, the lid attached. I'm getting the bucket off. I'm afraid over time pulling it out might, I may have to put a washer or something up here. I'm not sure. But if I leave a little gap here so I can get my finger back to get this off, I don't even think I have to clip it. If I just rest it there without clipping it, it might still do the same thing. All right, now to try to hang water filter and put it up. Kind of like so. All right, I got my marks made. I'm gonna drill the holes and then hang this and just do kind of a soft hang and see if this cover will fit over. Now, let's see how well this is going to fit up there. Let's see if this, uh, bin is going to fit over it. To where I can... Alright, it's on there. I like that. I think that's going to work right there. Right now we're trying to come up with an option for the pass-through of the hoses from the storage bay into the wet bay. And trying to find something that we can put in here to keep the hoses from rubbing up on the, the rough edges here. I went to the hardware store earlier today, but I could not find grommets big enough. So we're trying to come up with another solution. We found a piece of PVC boarded out in the middle so both hose fittings will fit through and then the hose will fit in here snug. So now what we need to do is just kind of smooth the top off so it'll fit through that hole I just showed you and make a nice conduit for the hose to come through. I've got everything in the storage bay next to the wet bay configured, set up. 
Got my hoses running through the PVC conduit that we made between the two bays. Now I'm going to put in the water softener. And tie all of this together. Now, I will have to go back to Mobile Must Have and get another section of hose for this side. This is going to go from the water softener straight into the house water. This one here, wrong one. This side here goes into, it's coming in from the filter into the water softener back out and back into the rig. And then this line here is where I've got the pedestal water or the faucet water coming from my hose. I don't have my 25 foot long stainless steel hose um, on this connection because I'm too far away from the uh, water source. So now I've got my water here. The only thing that you're going to see when we're plugged in is the 25 foot section of hose, stainless steel hose connected to this quick connect fitting here at the bottom. That's the only thing that'll be out. So I've mitigated the, the possibility of somebody stealing the three-stage water filtration system itself. I think the install went pretty pretty smoothly uh, once we figured it out. Uh, now I gotta say that it wasn't just me coming up with this whole idea. We're at a friend's house right now and there's two other heads involved and we spitball brainstormed and, and came up with a bunch of different options. I really wanted to take back some of the real estate in here but right behind this wall are my tanks so I couldn't go too far back. I thought about modifying this back piece but there just wasn't enough real estate back there for both the filter and the um, water softener. I really like the fact that the plastic tray is going to keep the water from spraying the bait. It's not waterproof. It's not going to hold water in because it's going to leak out the bottom and there is a hole where I brought the hoses through but it is going to keep it from spraying on my components that are in there. And I, that's what I was mainly going for. And if it hadn't been for the other two guys here helping me, I may have missed that. So that's it now. I'm going to wrap it up now so we have water so we can shower here tonight. And then tomorrow morning I'll come back out. I'll tighten everything up. I'll, I'll make the hose connections a little tighter so they're not loosey-goosey all over the place. All right, I just fired up the water, turned it back on. I'm going to come back here, make sure we have no leaks. Looks good here. No leaks, no leaks. This is another piece that I've got to swap out. Let's check the other side. And look at that. Dry as a bone, water's coming in. Now the true test is going inside and make sure I have water pressure inside. Moment of truth, do we have pressure and water inside? The answer is yes. That about does it for the water filtration install in Ruby here. 